Okay, this is old Cam. And this is not a spring check, and today we're going to be talking about... How not to make things work in government and in business, because they're very similar, even though the people in government basically haven't got a clue what a business is like. What do you mean? Well, because um, the people pushing Obamacare are continually doing the one, the one most irritating thing that you can do in the world, in the world of business, is to say, well, you have to understand. No, you don't have to understand. My mother would tell people when they would say this, well, you have to understand, she'd tell them no. She said, I, I, I run one of the largest corporations in the world, and I do not have to understand. You have to, I, I tell you what to do, you do it, and if you don't do it, don't tell me, you have to understand. Mm -hmm. And this is what the Democrats are doing on handling Obamacare. They're also doing things, the second way to basically screw things up, you just send people out to continually make light of everything. It's just like a joke. Well, yeah, you people don't know what you're doing. Ha, ha, ha. You people have never said anything constructive. Ha, ha, ha. You know, you don't know what you're talking about. Ha, ha. You have to understand. Ha, ha, ha. They just laugh at everything. I mean, in business school, they tell you, don't ever do that. Because it basically, it makes you, it puts you in a uh, position of divide you're the one that's causing the problems like you you say well you've never ever made any attempt to come up with something better and they have it all on t on news broadcast you know like four or five hundred times they pass a hundred bills but not once have you tried to do anything constructive you don't want people to have health care 500 bills 100 passed i don't think they're concerned about it well, because it has to all to do with the fact that, no, the trick is there is nobody involved in most of all the president's campaigns on any of them that have ever worked in a business in their life. They're certainly, you know, they worked in businesses, but they've worked in think tanks. They've worked in college. They've worked their academics. They don't know how business is done. And every time they hire somebody that do know, knows how a business is ran, like what, like daily, came in, they got, he left because it was a lost cause. Now they brought, um, uh, Leo Podesta in to try to solve the public relations problem, but he's basically this guy wouldn't smile if hell, you know, if he knew that he was going to be the only person surviving in the destruction of the world, he still wouldn't smile. Mm -hmm. So everything with him is so solemn; it's just the same difference, just laughing all the time. Oh, and then when you need the other side to do business, you don't continually criticize everything they do, and you don't hire a, a liaison that basically is known for her vicious attacks on the other side. So that everything that you well, can do maybe wrong. Maybe that was fair and balanced. Well, no, that's what Fox says. Fox isn't. Fox wouldn't know what fair and balanced was if it hit him in the face. I mean, that's just a saying because okay, here it is. Most, that's a good tagline. Yeah, but what most people understand is Fox is becoming more and more left with every day. I mean, that you have people supporting, okay, here's the thing is, you could basically ask the question to Fox, if the President of the United States came on Fox, and he had to have his rear end scratched before he went on television, how many people would be trampled to death in the rush to scratch his butt at Fox? Mm -hmm. I mean, there are people over at Fox that do nothing more than read the president's talking points on everything that is said. Mm -hmm. And they're on, these people are not just in one spot, they're on Fox, every Fox show there is. They're even on Fox shows where they've been ordered never to show up again because Fox wants to make certain that the president's viewpoint is, is done. So Fox is massively business left when it comes to the president. You want to get fired over on Fox business? Be negative about the president a lot. Mm -hmm. You lose your show. I mean, there's like another, they basically, Foxes went left wing, le very left, left wing liberal, replacing um, um, Jerry Willis at nighttime. They've given her time period to uh, pe people that basically, uh, one of the founding DJs on MTV, you know that that's a real conservative person. So, um, but there are ways to do things in business and there are ways if you're in an upper hand you crush but if you're if everything you do is wrong you basically have to learn to be compromised as bill clinton everything he was trying to do was backfiring everything so he went out and got people around him that basically told him you can't do it this way you know if you want to get your plans done you got to make uh, you got to you got to work with them yeah and he did and he signed everything that bill clinton signed as president the pre current president is un 
been done through executive action. You also cannot continually violate the laws of the Constitution. Well, when you're supposed to uphold the Constitution. And you just simply, I mean, this morning they just blew the whistle again. People that do not like this president this morning have taught him a lesson. They basically went to the press with the fact that the president of the United States deliberately held back like a thousand new provisions for the Health Care Act until... What? Yeah. They were, he didn't want them coming out before the election, so they individually talked to department heads. Don't let anybody know that this has been done. <laughs> yeah. Well, yeah. since we know that he already talked to them and said they don't know... Let him well, when the Democrats are doing it here, the laughing clown... Oh, you people are just trying to... But this was on, this was on one of the left-wing things. Well, you people are just trying to hurt this president because he's a, a black. You don't want health care... And the guy is a left-wing liberal. Well, that's the funny part is sometimes on the news, it's the left, the, the right sometimes overcompensates because they don't want to look like they're attacking, whereas the left, some of these things, they give you a better clear view of what's going on. Oh, God. I mean, the, the left hammers the president and his policies more than the right does. The left comics attack him more. I mean, this, like Jay Leno said, this is a man who just keeps giving now because he doesn't have any good days. I mean, like, more than 2,000 pieces of law that his people pushed were delayed until it got found out. 2,000 pieces of law that they rewrote. Well, it sure gives the comics lots to talk about. Oh, God. The Democrats are going to, head of the, one of the, in the Senate, one of the Senate leaders is going to hold um, things on the fact that they deliberately held legislation, I mean, l rules back that were going to punish people under Obamacare and punish business so that it wouldn't affect the Democrats' uh, chance of re-election because what it does now with the, it, with it, okay, the White House staff is blowing the whistles, the bureaucracy that does not like the way this man does business is blowing the whistles on him. So everything that you can do is wrong is wrong. I mean, um, so it, it, you have to get people, if you want to do business and stay in business, you have to make compromises. You cannot, the, there is no Soviet style government that has ever existed forever. Demo our democracy has lasted for over 200 years. The Soviet Union lasted 80 years. Mm -hmm. The Chinese has lasted less than that. And they've went to, they went to a, a capitalistic form of socialism now in order to make the country exist. Where our country is shifting to, um, you know, like they said, the progressive side of the Democratic Party has came to an end by the, brought to an end by the progressive side of the Democratic Party because they yeah. do not know how to can do business. They're their own worst enemy. That's right. They won't listen. So I guess and, until we have the next bunch of ridiculous. We just thought we'd give you something pleasant to look at while we were talking about <laughs> this today. So until next time, this is Old Cam. And this is not a spring check. And we're here yesterday, today, and tomorrow for more information. You can go to www.mbn news video web on the, the net or you oh, can oh, dot com dot com or you can go to www.montybubbles.net and follow us on Twitter, Instagram and Pinterest at Monty Bubbles. <laughs>